Finally! I got here without a crashing. I had to take the secret exit. Anyway, before we get head off to transformation, whatever class we're going to, I just want to point out, there are a lot of optional classrooms you can actually go to. And more often than not, they'll usually have a Witches and Wizards cards and a chest for you to open, so... Might as well gather ourselves some Witches and Wizards cards before heading off to next class, wouldn't you say? Don't see why not. Gain our health, you know, all that kind of pizzazz. We are currently on the second floor, right outside the secret entrance, and I did actually notice a little crawl space right here. Let's have a look what it has to offer. I think this is actually a shortcut to another level of... And when I say another level, you know, yep, goes down there. It's only a one-way system, though. You're not getting back up. Hey, hey! Another Witches and Wizards cards. We're doing good at this. <laughs> I'm going to cry if this is the first time I... <laughs> I managed... I, I somehow managed to gather, like, every single card except that first one. In... <laughs> in the beginning of the game. I'm going to cry. If that's the only one I miss. Because I'm doing rather well of collecting all these. Oh wait. Never mind, this isn't a one-way system. I'm going to cry if that's the only Witches and Wizards cards I miss. It's going to be rather annoying. <laughs> Ooh. Replenish our health with that. We need a spell for that. I'm doing pretty good with the collectibles here, I'm not going to lie. And slipped. What floor are we on? We're on the library floor. Yeah, don't see why not. This might be a loading screen now, so I'll be right back. Uh, just a little word of warning. Stay away from classrooms that actually has significance, because chances are they're not going to have anything in there you can actually do anything with for a while. Ah, you know, before when I said it's a one-way system, this is why I was getting it confused with. We can't get up here, but we can go down. And the ca the tapestry I just, like, sliced, that is every tapestry in the GameCube. <laughs> in this one, there's two variations. The one we just cut down and the one we cut Neville down from. I was hiding behind, I don't know, words, English, blah, 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 blah. Plus, you know, just a nice little attention to detail. That stays there for the rest of the game. Just want to point out, by the way, this little section here. There's a door here that leads into all the other rooms. I encountered a glitch in the GameCube. It went a little bit like this. That's right. The area didn't load, and Harry has nothing to walk on, so he's bouncing around. I can't get close to the door. I can't interact with anyone. It's just the weirdest looking thing in the world. I don't know how it happened. It was just a flat out glitch, and it was... Hilarious, to say the least. Thankfully, I was recording when it happened, because that's never happened to me before. Anyway, back on with the game. Bitch, be quiet. Okay? Just be quiet. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward... The Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spellbook somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spellbook in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit. Why is it just Harry? Why can't anyone else do it? I don't know, I think it's supposed to be implying that everyone does this challenge themselves, it's just that because, you know, we're playing as Harry, we only witnessed Harry doing it. Or at least I believe that's how one of the, one of the games somewhat imply that, I think. Well, poop, we're not getting back. Well, isn't this fancy? Huh. 
They replaced the flippendo things with but actual buttons. Okay. This is completely different than the <laughs> GameCube counterpart. Completely forgot about this. Don't know why I'm changing to Loom Rush. Just feel like necessary. This is really different. <laughs> Holy hell, how many of these things are there? Okay, evidently we have to wait for them to be stationary up in the sky before we can do anything with them. There we go. Seriously though, that's a lot. And this in front of us is how atoms work. <laughs> ah! Is that it? They just threaten us. They're like, BOO! Bitch. I believe we have to- yeah, okay. So like I say, we probably have to stay within their radius for a good while. Oh, uh, ah! I don't even know what just happened there. I was too distracted by the ones on the side that I didn't notice the one up on top. Owie, my butt! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Die, 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 die! Ah! Owie! Stay still! There we go. Oh! I suppose that's a good way of compensating, and we're good. All right, that's literally the only reason that's there, is just to give you the extra health, which is handy, I suppose. But you know, for those people who are good at this game, can't you give them a little bit of a bonus, so like a wizard's card, more health, you know? I can't actually remember. Can you actually drink? Can you actually drink this prematurely? I'm curious. Oh, you can! Huh. You actually can. Probably was not in my best interest to do it with so near full health. Oh well. Alright, this little room is just a load of fun. Hey, wait, what's everyone waiting in line for? Oh. <laughs> my apologies, I forgot there was a switch. Seriously. In the GameCube version, all these little, whatever you want to call them, ball and chains, whatever, are already hanging down. Your job is to slice and dice. Owie. The idea in the GameCube one is you just keep slicing them and then all these platforms will go down. But in this one, they actually, for some reason, implement buttons. Seriously. Or with these cha some of these changes don't really make too much sense. Some of them I get, you know. But... You get ones like these and you're like, why? By the way, that, yeah, that imp was stuck. Alright. I've been. Up on him, my good buddy. Does that little thing have any idea that I'm here? Because <laughs> he seems a bit silly. Oh no! Oh wow, that was close. Oh hell nah. Seriously, this let's play is all over the place. Oh, just Ugh, fantastic. Come on, let me drop. It's not let me drop. Have I seriously gotta go all the way around? I could easily make that jump. Really? Really? Have I seriously- <laughs> I'm sorry, but that did look quite funny. Really? Okay, I can understand why the GameCube did not want to do this, because this is just stupid. <laughs> Down you go. Whee! <laughs> that was potentially- Damaging. See, I can jump there. Whatever, you know, just whatever. Drop imp. Okay, now let's push the button and let's go on up.
Hopefully no more stupid antics like that have to be done again. What's in here? Anything useful? Or anything nice? What an insult to injury, considering I kind of filled up my health by wasting a... Looking wild potion. You want to slow these things down by using these, however, by doing that, you actually release the imps. Be careful, don't go too soon. Nothing's going to whack you off like no one's business. And wow, did that take a big chunk of his health off. I'm trying to remember, do I need to do more to slow these things down, or do I just gradually wait? Eh, you know what, what? Well, well, alright, I really don't like these little guys, so... Come with me. Whoop! <laughs> you're, don't worry, you're going with him. Say goodbye to your friend. <laughs> I'm an evil asshole. I don't like those imps, they're annoying. Boy, do I remember this area. I just want to point out, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't the first time I've let's played this let this game. I originally did a let's play on this on the GameCube alone. And in this room particularly, I remember starting the part by referencing a song. And that somehow got a copyright strike. I had to demute the beginning of this at level because I referenced a song. Which was ridiculous. There we go. The GameCube version of this room, I really can't make much sense of, to be honest. This thing is all over the place. In the GameCube, anyway. When you strike this hard enough, it stays up. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. However, in this, when you strike these things, they actually stay up. In the GameCube one, they don't stay up for long. And by God, am I doing terrible. Seriously, in the GameCube, I literally just charge through this room every time while taking massive amounts of damage. In this one, getting through it actually makes some sense. I can't for the life of me do this room on the GameCube without taking damage. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That must have been one powerful chocolate frog. No, no, no! Ah! I'm on fire! <laughs> no, I do not want to light up the room. Here's something I like. In the PS2 version, the cutscene doesn't automatically take us down there. We can drop ourselves down whenever we are ready to go. Like so. Which I like. 